Hi everyone, today I'm making vegetable pie. Welcome to Cook Vegan, I'm Farah Shamas, and I hope you enjoy watching this amazing video of this amazing pie. It's a vegan pie, but suitable for everyone, and I'm sure you're gonna love it. Do subscribe to my new YouTube channel if you enjoy this video, and make sure you comment below. I'll get back to you on any questions you might have. So first of all, this vegetable pie doesn't have white potato in. You could have it if you want, but this is slightly different. So especially if you've got an autoimmune disease or you're worried about um, having, um, uh, oh, my brain's gone dead, having um, uh, a white potato or anything else, or tomatoes, um, this is definitely one for you. So, a nightshade, nightshade, there we go. It's been a long day and lockdown and everything. So, um, here we have uh, about one head, so this was a nice, um, juicy, so to speak, cauliflower. And I've got my water boiling here, and I'm just gonna boil this separately here. Now, as some of you may know, who have made cauliflower mash, because this is gonna be the topping of our pie, um, it doesn't take very long to make the cauliflower um, super soft and ready to be um, blended, whether you blend it in a food processor, a Thermomix, or hand blender, we're probably gonna use our hand blender for this. So I've cut that up, and that's going in there. So I'm just gonna push that in, and I'm not adding anything else to it. We're leaving it as plain as plain can be. And um, we're just gonna heat that up and allow that to boil and soften. Now, I've got here our wok. Um, you can have a big pan or anything else. And I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Um, not too much, it's not to be deep fried, but I've got a lot of vegetables here. So um, a good drizzle in there. I would say that's probably about four tablespoons. Um, and I've got a selection of vegetables here. So I'm just gonna show you which ones we're gonna put in first. The ones that take longer to cook are actually on this side. So here we have a whole onion, one white onion, and two cloves of garlic. Again, they're all roughly chopped. So I have those, and I'm gonna put those in first to saute them. Oh, I'm sorry, I've just realized that it's not on at all, so that would be why there's no sizzling sound. So as I've mentioned before, Cook Vegan is all about real cooking, real people making real food. So I'm a busy uh, mum of three, and um, also this is not my main job. I actually um, run a resort and do several other things as well here in Limassol, Cyprus. So, but I love, I'm vegan and I love vegan cooking. And I really wanna bring that all to you at the best I can to show you what we can make, um, uh, what we can do that's quick, nutritious, good for all the family, good for friends coming over. So whether you're vegan or not, these recipes apply to everyone. So I'm just stirring that in and I've gotta let that now get nice and warm, which it will do in a minute. I'll have this here. We've also got um, a delicious mung bean soup on as well, but that's another video. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you watch the mung bean one as well. The mung bean soup, um, which is amazing as a soup and also really good as a stew. So here we go. So here we go, multitasking. I've just been um, finishing off our delicious mung bean soup. That's another video, so don't forget to watch that. And here I'm gonna add, I'm gonna throw all of that in actually, because it takes around the same time to cook. So our um, onion and garlic have nicely um, bronzed, became golden. I've managed to get a, some of it quite brown, but that's okay, that's what happens when we're multitasking, as long as it's not burnt. And here I've added the delicious um, carrots and parsnips. Now, um, that was a full plate of um, cut long lengthways carrots and parsnips. So it's about two parsnips, large parsnips, and also about three, I'd say, medium carrots. Um, so you can see that, but as you saw before, when we had them on the plate, it took up the whole plate, and about half-half. Again, this is the nice thing about a lot of my recipes, and a lot of the, um, the recipes we use on Cook Vegan that we've developed, are that they are, they're flexible. So you can also just look what you have in your fridge on that day. I mean, we love using parsnips in our vegan vegetable pie, but at the end of the day, they're not always readily available, at least not to me here in Cyprus. I don't know where the rest of you are in the world, maybe they are, but um, maybe you just don't like parsnips or carrots or whatever else. So you can be a bit flexible with your ingredients. So now I'm just coating all of these with the delicious heated olive oil. 
Now, I love olive oil in this, but again, I do tell everyone all the time, if you want to avoid oil, you can always use a different oil. I wouldn't recommend using coconut oil with this because it would completely change the flavor. But you could use a different type. You could also use a bit of vegetable stock, like wine, whatever you like. So we're putting that in there. Those are all coated. I'll just let them um, soak up a bit more and get a little bit softer because carrots tend to always take a bit longer than anything else, as do parsnips. And here are uh, cauliflower mash is also um, cooking. So now that I can hear this sizzling, toss it around a bit more. I'm going to add our potatoes. So this is one medium uh, sweet potato. And here we have this beautiful violet potato. So they're called, I know, an array of different things in different countries. Do comment below if you have a better name for them than what I just called them. Um, purple potatoes, violet, um, so many other names. So these are two types of potatoes. Now, um, again, if we did, didn't have access to those, oh, came too close to that heat. Um, we could also have used a little bit more sweet potato as well. And if you are, don't mind having a nightshade by all means, you could also add a little bit of white potato. I wouldn't say to add too much though, because it might start becoming a bit too mashy and uh, the texture and flavor might start blending too heavily with the um, cauliflower mash that we have on top. I know that a lot of vegan pies and vegetable pies um, have normal, regular white potato mash at the top of them. But this is why this one is just so different and so tasty. So I've got all of this here simmering nicely. I've still kept it on a high heat because I am tossing it around constantly so it's getting thick. I'm also managing to throw a few pieces over. Why not? That's the fun thing about real cooking. So as I've said before, cook vegan is not about perfection. It's not, you know, me here with my hair perfectly done saying, oh, you can all do this and showing you a five hour meal on a five minute snippet. Um, I try and walk you all through it real time as much as possible without boring you and just show you how easy it is and how nutritious and quick so you don't have to worry too much um, and also affordable. So that's in there now. We've got this now heating up nicely. I'm just gonna check on our um, cauliflower. Now that is all breaking and all mashing. So I'm just gonna turn up that heat. Oh, I turned the other one down. Um, so I'm just gonna turn up this heat now and then I'll be back in a minute um, showing you when we're blending this because that's nearly done and I'll show you the blending of the cauliflower. So I'm just letting the cauliflower get that little bit more um, soft and tender. And here I'm adding our beautiful green beans. Now there's a variety of green beans you can get depending on what you want, what's accessible. Um, so these are fresh um, green beans and it's about a couple of handfuls full. So again, I'm mixing those in. This is the order that I would recommend because I find it's the order that everything cooks better and it will wind up around the same. Because if you put the carrots in last, if you put the beans in first or the mushrooms in first, you're going to end up with one being quite slushy and not that appetizing and something else being quite crispy. Although, again, with this recipe, you don't have to worry too, too much because everything is going into the oven. So while we're heating this, oh, again, I managed to chuck out a carrot. While we're heating this, it's good to have, um, at the beginning, if you're doing it quickly, just put the oven on so it can preheat. Um, and uh, there we go. So then it will all go in the oven for a bit. Okay, now I'm going to add our zucchini. So this is about three to four um, zucchinis, depending on the, the, their size. It would be three very large ones. And these are the green ones. I'm just going to hold back most of the mushrooms for a little bit. A couple fell in, but that's okay. We use in this house both the green zucchini and the white, um, and we love them both. But for this, because we want it to be a little bit more colorful, and we've already got um, the potatoes going in, the orange and the purple, it's quite nice to use the green, and so we just keep on um, having all this beautiful color 
going on. Now at some point, I am not going to add more oil to this. I'm going to add some water so that it will sizzle in that. So I'm just making sure this is all coated with that little bit of, of olive oil. So if you saw at the beginning, I had a little bit more maybe olive oil than you would expect, and about four or five tablespoons. But um, once now all of these veg have gone in, you can see why and how it makes sense. So that's coating nicely. Okay. And now at this point, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of water so that nothing sticks and it's got more to heat. Great. And I'm just going to wait for that to get a tiny bit softer before adding our final ingredients, which are mushrooms. So I'll leave that sizzling there. And then I'm just going to come here and check. Okay, that's perfect. So here we go again. These are nice and soft. You can see them breaking super easy. So I'm just going to turn that off the heat. Up. And then we're going to mash our delicious cauliflower mash. And it might surprise you, but we're not actually going to use anything else in the mash. So we're not going to use vegan margarine, we're not going to use um, plant-based milk. We're just going to mash it as it is and really leave that flavor to come out without being enhanced by anything else. So let me just drain this and I'll be back in a second showing you. Okay, so now as I'm doing the cauliflower, I'm just going to throw in the last ingredient, the last bit of vegetables into our mix. And guys, another idea for this that I didn't think of telling you, but is look how beautiful this looks now. I'm going to throw in a little bit more water. So in total, it's probably about a third of a cup of water that I'll use just to stew all of this in. Um, is it, I mean, this is so stunning. Look how colorful this is. So you can have this as a side dish, make even more uh, one day. So have it with whatever you're eating. And then with your leftovers for the evening meal or the next day, put it as the base of your pie and you're good to go. So again, anything that we can make our lives easier, it's definitely worth doing. So that's all stirred in now. I'm just gonna let that um, get a little bit softer as we're doing the, the next part. So here we've got the, uh, the mash. Oh, my kids have just dropped off their iPad while we were um, waiting. And um, let me just find the, here we go. So now we're using the ham blender for this, but of course you could use your normal blender or anything else. And I'm just gonna, before I put that on, I'm gonna add the seasoning. So again, um, just a tiny bit. Actually, you know what? We always use Himalayan salt. I'm gonna use a little bit of sea salt now. So I'm just gonna put, here, this is rock salt. That's about, again, half a tablespoon. Oh, and I'm just gonna put a pinch of pepper. Pepper's always good with any type of mash. So there we go, just a tiny bit. Sprinkle of pepper. So again, salt and pepper to taste. And I'm just mashing this in the pan. Um, just to make our life easier with washing up. But of course, if it's easier in a jug or anything else, then do um, use that also. And on the wall, and there we go. Now I didn't, oh, I should have You can still hear me. I did not um, train this really, really well. So all of the contacts still have some, some of the water liquid in. So the mash is done, like that, already, no lumps, and um, I guess you could add some um, uh, plant-based milk as well in it if you wanted to make it that bit creamier, but we leave ours, as I said, just like this, so it really is um, very much whole food, plant-based, real, real um, uh, mash 
without anything else. So now I'm going to put all of these beautiful, this rainbow color of vegetables into a Pyrex and then I'm going to cover it with um, the mashed, um, not mashed potatoes, mashed cauliflower and I'm going to pop it in the oven. As I said before, it's good to have your oven on from before at 160. Um, even if you put it up a bit higher, just turn it down now to 160 and then we're going to leave all of this in for max 20 minutes. It might even be 15 depending on how well everything is cooked. We just want all those flavours um, to be absorbed together. So I'll show you that in one second. So now I'm just crumbling a little bit of um, a vegetable stock, so one whole vegetable stock. And I'm mixing that in. Okay, just before I pour that in the fire. Okay, take your meal to make your experience. My son Leon has also done a few cook vegan videos, so you can check out our um, Facebook group if you want to join that as well. Um, and he's got some amazing recipes there with me. He's four, going on to five now. And my daughter Yasmina also has a few with me. So now that I've mixed that in nicely, just to give it a little bit of extra taste, I'm going to take our Pyrex here. Oh, this is super heavy. I wish I could do this more gracefully, but I'm just gonna transfer everything into here. So, like this. There we go. And I'll show you in a second, once I've done all of this, with the topping as well. Okay, and now I've just literally put that all on top. So I poured all the vegetables, they're not scooped them in rather. And then now our beautiful cauliflower mash has gone on top. Again, this is a really light layered. Um, if you do prefer more or want more, then by all means, use two heads of cauliflower and you can put that in. And then I'm gonna take that, it's already warm, and I'm gonna put this in the oven at 160 for 20 minutes. It might even be 15 and it's ready. And you're good to go. Season it as you like. You can dress it with a bit of parsley or coriander on top. And this is a delicious, delicious, um, vegan, healthy vegetable pie for all the family to enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and make your comments below. Any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon and don't forget to check out our other videos. Bye from me at Cook Vegan.